Hello 2D designers, here we are back at the visual book and in this brief broadcast we're going to learn how to make a selection from another photograph and copy and paste it into this document. So in this case I wanted to bring in this image that I took earlier in the semester and I want to select just these ferns and this is you know, I'm going to have to do a little bit of work, but right now this is a good candidate for selection because the background is so dark and the foreground is so light. We're going to use this object selection tool. And we're going to make a big um, block, you know, encompassing everything we want, and then let the computer do the thinking and selecting. And it's done a pretty good job selecting the fern. There's one area here that's kind of, uh, you know, it's got picked up the background green. I'm going to go grab this lasso and holding down, this is the option key. I can come in here and draw around this and take that away from the selection. And now uh, let's look even closer at this by going back to this object selection tool and using select and mask. And this gives us some more refinement tools. One way to do this is to take this brush that looks like it's painting hairs in, and you can use that to get into really small places. So for example, let's drop down here to this dark area. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm using the left bracket tool to make it small. I'm going to click and drag down in there and get rid of that. And this works in anything. Let's go over here and make it a little small. That's from the outside edge. A little bit smaller. You can pull in here. And your time can really get eaten up going in here and doing these very careful refined selections. So I'm also going to show you another way to make these selections, especially like some of these places where what we want to get rid of is inside selection. So let's um, uh, back out of here. Let's choose down here the output We'll go down to a new layer. We'll say OK. So there's our new layer. And on this new layer, let's use this other tool over here under the uh, object selection tool. Pull down to magic wand and check your settings. I like a sample size 3x3, 5x5, something like that. Let's do this one. And then the tolerance, I'm going to make it a little bit loud, uh, broader right now. It's pretty high tolerance. And contiguous is not checked. So by doing this, I can come in and click on a dark area. And now it has found all of those dark areas throughout the uh, design. And I'm going to hit delete and get rid of that. I also would like to get rid of some of this. Let me go back and get this lasso tool. Holding subtraction key, I'll get rid of some of that too. Some of this may not even be visible to our eye when we're looking. But that's, you know, it's doing pretty well. Here's some other lighter areas. Let me go back to that magic wand tool. Pretty high tolerance. Let's see what happens if we click here and hit delete there. That feels pretty nice. All right, I'm liking that. All right, so we like that. I'm hitting deselect and holding command and clicking within this layer and hitting command C for copy and I'll come over here Command V for paste. So it came in rather large. I use the move tool and by using that I can definitely shrink it down to something that can 
add a little flourish in this corner. There we go. Good. All right, so we're compi composing so that that word over is still there. And so now um, in our next video, we're going to move up here into this area and work with fonts and a filter uh, that can affect it by blur. See you in the next video.